Anxiety manifests itself in multiple ways. You might be getting physical symptoms that convince you there's something seriously wrong. You might be getting scary, intrusive, what if thoughts. You might be getting feelings of dissociations, feelings of depersonalization, derealization. And you might be even getting weird emotions where you don't even recognize who you are. When I was struggling with anxiety, I had such bizarre symptoms that I had a hard time identifying what symptom was anxiety and which one wasn't. And once I started recognizing one symptom was anxiety, a little bit later, another symptom would pop up and I would just be going in this hamster wheel trying to figure out what do I do to make these symptoms go away. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you this one trick, this one tip that is not only going to speed up your recovery journey, but will also simplify everything. The truth is, is that a lot of people make anxiety recovery really complicated because they're focused on all their symptoms and I totally understand. And I'm going to give you this principle that I help people in the mentorship when I'm guiding them through recovery to really simplify their recovery journey and really expedite the process. So with that said, let's get it started. Now, before we go deeper in the video, I'm not going to really explain exactly how to respond to the anxiety to make the anxiety go away. If you really want to know that, I have a free ebook down below that really describes how to focus on just understanding the mechanics of anxiety, but also learning how to respond. I've gotten countless messages from people around the world who said they were able to recover just by applying the book alone. So the link is down below and that's really going to break down how to respond to the anxiety. But before you even start focusing on the anxiety steps, it's a really good idea to really focus on this one principle. Now, before I tell you this principle, I want to tell you something else, okay? Which is when you're focused on anxiety recovery, you can't follow your feelings. So you might be getting physical symptoms like heart palpitations, dizziness, you might be getting nausea, you might be getting digestive issues, you might be getting weird sensations where you can't even explain it. And you're following those feelings, right? A big part about anxiety recovery is not focused on the feelings, but focus on your response. And I'll explain why this matters later. Here's the one principle that really helps people expedite the recovery journey, and it goes like this. Throw everything under the anxiety umbrella. So whether you're getting panic attacks nonstop, whether you're getting these intense physical symptoms, if you're getting feelings of unreality, the depersonalization, derealization, if you're getting the weird emotions, and if you're getting the thoughts, the thoughts are big, okay? The thoughts is really something a lot of people neglect. Throw all of those things under the anxiety umbrella. See, anxiety is a state. It's a survival mechanism. And what happens is that anxiety will manifest itself in multiple ways. For you, it might be intense physical symptoms. You might be getting repeat panic attacks. You might be getting feelings of unreality. You might be getting intrusive thoughts. You might be getting all of them. And what a lot of people try to do is they try to do this bottom up approach, which is they try to focus on, okay, is this symptom anxiety? Is this symptom not anxiety? And the biggest tip is, throw all of your symptoms under the anxiety umbrella. So instead of having 20 different problems, 20 different symptoms, you really only have one problem moving forward, which is anxiety. You might even be saying things like, oh, I could totally recover, but if I just didn't have this one symptom, and I totally understand, for me, that symptom was digestive issues. I felt like I could overcome any symptom. I understood that I had an anxiety problem, and I even understood some of the symptoms being a manifestation of anxiety, but I felt like my digestive symptoms symptoms were just too bizarre to be anxiety. But here's the most important thing. You have to throw everything under the anxiety umbrella, even the most bizarre symptom. Now you might be wondering, Sean, but how do I know if this is anxiety or if it's not? That's very simple. All you have to do is just get everything ruled out by your doctor. If you've gotten everything ruled out by your doctor and they're not concerned or they just say it's just anxiety, that's all the validation you need to have this weird, bizarre symptom be under the anxiety umbrella. Now, typically when I tell people to throw everything under the anxiety umbrella, the next thing people bring up is, Sean, but this just feels too intense to be just anxiety. And this is why I told you in the very beginning of this video, which is you can't follow your feelings. You have to focus on the response. See, look, I get it, right? I was in your same shoes and I followed my feelings for a long time. He was the problem. It never got me anywhere. All it did was it made me spin my tire and made me feel like I was in this hamster wheel where I was just stuck. And every time I did something to make the symptoms go away, I was actually getting worse. 
And if you have to reflect on yourself, this is a good exercise for you, which is recognize, hey, I've tried to fix these symptoms. Has this really helped me? Has this really helped me on the recovery journey or has this just created more problems? You will find that trying to fix the symptoms and following your feelings doesn't do anything. It just leads you into this rabbit hole. And then as time goes on, you start thinking, well, maybe I'll never get out of this. And this is why anxiety recovery has a lot more to do with not focusing on effort, but changing your approach. When I'm guiding people through the recovery journey, it's kind of shocking. I focus on a few things and help them readjust a few things. Somebody from the outside would be looking at it, would be saying, that's not enough to help somebody come out of something so debilitating. But the truth is with anxiety recovery, if you just focus on the right things and shift those things, well, that's all you need to do to get out of this. And the shift that you can be using right now is instead of focusing on having 20 different symptoms and trying to identify what's anxiety and what's not, throw everything under the anxiety umbrella. And if you're worried if something's an anxiety symptom or not, very simple. Again, get it ruled out by your doctor and believe them. See, the other benefit of throwing everything under the anxiety umbrella is because anxiety manifests itself in different ways, your symptoms will change. So you might be having heart palpitations one day, but the next day you might notice you're having excessive sweating. So you might have a hard time of recognizing, is this anxiety, is this not? Again, get everything ruled out, but then throw everything under the anxiety umbrella. This principle is called somatic shifting, and this happens when symptoms start changing. And in fact, when I'm guiding people through the recovery journey, when me and my team are guiding people, we actually look at this as a benefit. Symptoms changing also means that the nervous system is readjusting as well. And then the other benefit of throwing everything under the anxiety umbrella does this, which is you're not super focused on the symptom. See, so many people are focused on their symptom, right? They're noticing every small change in their anxiety symptom. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're thinking, if I can just focus on the symptom, identify what triggers and what doesn't, maybe I can manipulate it and change it in such a way where it goes away. But that never works. Your eye's not on the prize. You're focused on something else. And you've tried that approach. And if we're, like I say, if we're being fully honest here, it doesn't work. So what that does is that when you're throwing everything under the anxiety umbrella, it stops making you be so symptom focused. Everything is just an offset of anxiety. Everything is just an offset of burning off adrenaline, like I say. And more importantly, moving forward, you only have one problem. If you're defining yourself based on 20, 30 problems, it's hard to tell yourself, I'm going to get out of this because you have 20 or 30 problems. But if you just have anxiety, if you just have this one problem and all you have to do is desensitize your nervous system, all these symptoms go away. I always had this fear when I was going through the recovery journey of what if all these symptoms go away, but this one symptom remains. But the truth is, is that as I've recovered, as I've helped people around the world, all the symptoms go away. And the benchmark can be looked at like this, which is if it wasn't there before anxiety, you can almost certainly throw it under the anxiety umbrella. Now caution here, I always am gonna say, make sure you get everything ruled up by your doctor. Make sure your doctor gives you a clean bill of health. But what I find is as I'm helping people is if their symptoms occurred after they experienced the first panic attack or once they fell into the cycle, those symptoms go away. So I hope this video helps. I hope it gives you a clear idea of how to focus on the recovery journey. If you really want to know more about how to focus on overcoming this, what I'd highly recommend is check out some recovery stories. Check out some people who have recovered just like you, who have been stuck in the cycle and managed to come out of it, focusing on the right principles and the right approach. So I'll put a link down below to anxiety recovery stories. Almost all of these people were my own clients. In fact, a lot of them are members of my mentorship and now they're also mentors themselves. So they're guiding people through the recovery journey as well. Their stories are inspirational and I guarantee you, you're gonna find at least one person, if not multiple people that have the exact same symptoms at you at one point, but now they're doing a lot better just because they're a few steps ahead of you. So I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.